This company is a bit sick. All employees must wear a dog mask at work, and it is forbidden to speak human language. You can only bark like a dog. Everyone works in a one. 5 square dog cage, a pot of greenery, one phone, a dog bowl. These are the daily routine of these employees for 365 days. When they eat, they don't use chopsticks either. Instead, they lie on the table like a dog, licking and eating the food in the dog bowl. On the plate is a special kind of canned food. When they are thirsty, they act like dogs. They suck on the water bottle hanging from the cage. The boss also used to brainwash everyone. If you work hard, there are all kinds of tasty cans since they were born. They haven't seen the outside world since they were born. They've been working here since they were adults, and they've been told day in and day out by their bosses. The employees even believe that their work is more important than their lives. And the boss's word is in order. It's not a glamorous job, but it pays $100,000 a month. Kevin became a new employee when he reached the legal age. But before they could officially work, they need to go through strict training, wearing exclusive costumes, wearing dog masks, and then learn the various barking sounds of the dog. The first day on the job, Kevin was extremely uncomfortable. The boss forbade the employees to speak in human language. Instead, everyone was required to understand human language. There was a red speaker on the wall of the company. Whenever a dog barked from the speaker, everyone immediately concentrated on their work. It was the equivalent of a class bell. Suddenly, a girl let out a loud laugh. She spoke in human language. She couldn't stand this kind of sick work anymore. She was forcibly dragged away by security before she could say a few words. The owner continued to reassure everyone. Then Lita stood up. She actually meowed. Lita was tied up in the office. The boss took out a can of red liquid and then mixed it into a can and forced Lita to take it. This can is similar to LSD. Lita ate it and was immediately disoriented. This was the only thing everyone ate at lunch. They didn't know that this was a company that specialized in canned food. The cans are highly nutritious. It's low cost and contains sedatives. The employee's daily job is to sell the cans. The owner of the company wants to control all of humanity through canned food. He sits in his office eating steak, drinking wine. During nap time, Lita crawls out of the dog cage with her hands and feet around the surveillance. Kevin follows suit. Lita climbed into the storage room. There is a lot of fruit for the boss. Lita took out an apple and handed it to Kevin. But Kevin didn't dare to eat it. She ate all the apples in front of Kevin. She told Kevin that there is a big world out there. It's not the dog cage we live in. Apples are more delicious than canned food. In the evening Kevin was driven by curiosity. He finally ate the apple. In an instant, he finally knew what the taste of food is. The next day, the boss found the apples missing. He ordered the security guards to whip them one by one. Kevin couldn't resist. He wanted to stand up and admit that he had stolen the apples. But Lita stood up first and admitted her mistake. Lita was taken away once again. The boss bullied her with more tranquilizers to prevent Lita from influencing everyone. The perverted boss trained the staff like dogs. Spin around when they are told to spin around. They spit out their tongues when told to do so. These employees are clearly dogs in every move they make. The boss dipped his fingers in the can. One by one. He asked each person to lick it. Suddenly, Lita bit the boss's finger. What was waiting for her was another beating. During the lunch break she broke the wire fence. She unlocked the door with the wire. With her pet dog in her arms, she prepared to escape from this hell on earth. She took the opportunity to steal a mysterious potion. This potion can control people's minds. She poured the potion on her boss without hesitation. When the staff saw the potion, they pinned the boss down like a hungry wolf. They frantically fought for the taste of the potion. Lita removes the blindfold that binds her and turns to escape. But security guards stopped her. Then the security guards raised their guns. The scene shifts. Lita is lying under a blue sky and white clouds, holding her pet dog in her hands, enjoying the fresh air. Yes, this is the fantasy of her brain before she died. Without exception, everyone is wiped out. And that's the end of the film. This is a super satirical film. A dumbed down nation. Perhaps they themselves do not want to wake up until the apple appears and breaks the perception of man. Lita and Kevin represent Adam and Eve, people born without dignity and freedom. After being tempted to recognize the world, they would rather die than to change the world. Well, this is the end of the film. Welcome to leave comments. We will see you next time.